Can you talk about the, the, the COVID experience, right? Because here you are, like, a phenomenal athlete in, in prime shape, you know, and we hear it's not supposed to affect people like that. What, what was it like for you knowing it's kind of like this invisible thing, right? Like, I guess an injury is probably easier to deal with. What, what the hell was this like? Yeah, you know, speaking with my coaches and um, other media and UFC personnel this week, I was like, you know, it was frustrating, you know, like injuries, you, you know, you can kind of have a timeline of, all right, you're four to six weeks out from, you know, getting back to stuff. Like I didn't know with COVID, you know, I didn't know, like it was basically by day that what I, my body strand could do, what, what else happened, you know, I was on blood thinners, I had pneumonia, I had um, vertigo, vertigo was, was horrible. Um, and the blood clots as well. I was on blood thinners, like I said, for like four months. So like I said, like, it's almost easier to have an injury than having COVID. Uh, and I always took COVID serious. You know, if I, you know, obviously people are dying from it. But like I said, I'm, I take care of myself. I'm healthy. I, you know, I rest, I recover, I eat well, I'm very well conditioned. I thought that if I had it, it'd be like a flu bug kind of. Man, it, <laughs> it was not a flu bug for me. It was, it was, it was intense, but um, you know, I think everything happens for a reason. You know, there's maybe there's a reason why things were removed from my life. Let me focus on other things. And like I said, just 11 months of just, it wasn't like I was sitting on the couch, you know, laid up. I was training. I was doing things that I couldn't do. Um, if I wasn't able to do martial arts, then I was, you know, jumping on the cycling bike, riding, you know, 50 to 100 miles a day, you know, getting the conditioning up. So I was able to, you know, really, really expand my cardiovascular, um, you know, load you know through that so I was always training like I felt like I never missed a beat when I came right back to the gym um, everything felt good the movement the speed the power the vision you know I just feel like this is the most complete martial art martial artist that I'll be stepping inside this cage on Saturday the COVID stuff uh a lot of people say that one of the things that mostly affected them is the lung area but you said in this training that you were able to push yourself cardio wise further than you've ever been so obviously that wasn't an area where where you were were affected you know it's actually uh, funny that they bring that up yeah the i had pneumonia and not knowing i had covid through this whole process you know going i like, just felt like i was in i was literally in fight camp fighting for a world title I was like this is the grind this is what happens no excuses put the work in you know and i started cycling road cycling actually vinnie murdoch who's i actually out here on the ultimate fighter right now um had a brain, um, it's Moya, M-O-Y-A, um, had to have like a brain surgery. So he, his doctor said he had to do, you know, to help, you know, would help him heal better would it be, you know, doing cardio. Well, I don't like to run. I'm not a big, I don't, you know, cycling school, you can go a lot of places cycling. Where we're at in Sacramento, American River Trail, there's a lot of bike paths and trails. So I got cycling, started cycling. And that's what my doctor said was like, as much as I'm cycling, and we were doing, you know, 100 mile rides. Wow. You know, like it was, we were putting the work in, you know, it was, you know, five, six hours of just nonstop, just grinding on that bike. And that's all I could really do because I had vertigo. So I couldn't really do much MMA. Um, I could do a little bit of it until I started having the onsets of the vertigo and the spins. So the bike, I was just there and just pedaling the legs and the heart and the lungs. And uh, that's what he said, like, I was able to keep my lungs so open that during that like a lot of people that had the pneumonia like I had it would have been hospitalized on a ventilator he goes and the crazy thing is that we were cycling but we had a cow the cow fires the smoke index was so heavy yeah. so I just thought it was because we were out there riding you know an index of 400 sometimes you know we try to get up in the morning five six in the morning and go before the you know, smoke rolled in um, so I just thought that's why I was having like the the wheezing and the you know the shortness of breath uh, for, from the air quality in Sacramento during that time. So it was just like, then I tested positive for COVID and I was like, oh man, that should make sense why I, I felt like this. I'm like, man, I wasn't trying to, you know, and you know, Danny, uh, she always says, you know, like when I get a flu or something, like I'm a big baby about it. So I wasn't trying to complain about it, but man, I was, I was hurting, man, this shit hurt. I didn't want to complain about shit. And then I had COVID and I looked back and I was like, wow, okay, yeah. A couple of times, man, there were some nights that I was like, really really in pain with it like it, it really took its toll but then again i was training for a world title so i didn't want to take any time off and i was just so frustrated like why would you know what was going on and obviously testing positive for covid understanding like all right well it's covid and this is a, a virus that's in my body that's affected it so you know so greatly that i have to you know take the measures of getting healthy